Hi guys, it's Robin, the Lady Biker. All right, today I am gonna be changing out and modifying my bike. Currently, my girl Scarlett back here in my Rude King is set up, she still stocks. She came with just the two bags and the uh, double up seat. Today, I'm gonna be actually removing a insert to put in a four point docking harness that's going to allow me to attach a sissy bar and a like a track. Now for little day trips, the bags are great and they're phenomenal. They can, they hold everything I need. But us ladies, if we're going somewhere for overnight or for camping and we need to attach gear, there's nowhere to strap it onto this. So I'm gonna be modifying her today and I'm gonna give y'all little inserts into seeing what's going on. So the first thing I need to do is to remove the saddlebags. Super, super easy. So if you've never removed one of these bags, all you have to do is you open the bag and there are these, I'm mean, sure they're little handled nuts. You just take a few swings with them, spin them, They both come loose, the bag just slips right off. Easy, Easy peasy. What do they look like? What we're going to be doing is we're going to be removing a few of, of the screws here. When those come loose, this piece here will pop right out, and that's going to leave that open where the docking harness can set down inside. Now, Little side note, especially if you buy your bike used, right here, let's see if I can get it to focus, there it is. This is your uh, suspension adjustment. So ladies, most of us, especially if it comes from, uh, or if it was owned by someone else before you that was bigger, it's probably set for their weight, not for yours. Check your owner's manual, find out what yours is supposed to be set on, for me, mine's supposed to be set at a one. Now, whenever I head to say Babes Ride Out this October, whenever I'm loaded down with gear, camping gear, all of that, I'll probably turn this up a couple of notches just to make the ride a little bit more comfortable with the extra weight that'll be on the back of my bike. Okay. So now all that is to it, read the instructions, follow along. And if for any reason you ever get into one of these uh, modifications, and you just don't, you get lost in what you're doing, check YouTube. There are so many videos out here by so many amazing mechanics and riders that will really help you if you get stuck. So, instructions say it's gonna take me about an hour. I promise I'm gonna do that fast forward time warp thing. So, let's see how this all turns out. So now I removed the screws and now I have the slot here to start installing the docking har the uh, four point docking harness. And yes, I was that kid in school. Part of the reason why I say it's important to have a set of tools is that I needed one size to remove the insert plate and I need the next size up to be able to put in the new bolts. So it's always important to have a set of tools. Now the four point docking harness is in place. Let me show you. So from here, this is why it looks different now. It's because you have the spot for the sissy bar to attach and then for the luggage rack to attach. Sorry, for the sissy bar to attach and then for the luggage rack to attach. Okay, now 
I'm pulling out my sissy bar. This is the uprights for it. So this is the part that's actually going to attach to the four point docking harness. This locks in right into place. And you can do just a sissy bar. Now, where you might want to use just the rack like this is if all you're going to do is ride single and all you need is something to attach a, a, uh, a sissy bar bag to so that you can have luggage on your motorcycle. However, if you want to ride and use it as a passenger backrest, that is sold separately. So now it's time to assemble those. Passenger backrest is on there. So now all I have to do is slide this onto the docking harness. Now the final piece of the puzzle is the luggage rack. Fortunately, this one already comes assembled because it's just all in one piece. Let's put it on. When you're trying to align all your pieces, if something doesn't fit, the kit does come with a couple of spacers. So that if the, for whatever reason, the way yours is set up, the uh, flanges are a little bit too narrow, you have some spacers. I think I'm going to add a spacer to one side of mine. And you just keep adjusting until it fits. All that's left is to reattach my saddlebags and project's done. So ladies, don't be afraid to adjust your bike. Add a sissy bar to it, add a luggage rack to it, change your seat. Whatever it is you need to do to make your bike fit you. Do the research, learn the skills, and do it. So. Until later, get out and ride, have fun, be safe, and see you next time.